So we're going to go over first finding the length and the width of a rectangle. Okay. We're going to use a multiplication comparison in order to find the width. So if you look at number one, I'm going to read it to you. You follow along and underline the important information. A rectangular porch is four feet wide. It is three times as long as it is wide. Label the diagram with the dimensions of the porch. Let me read it a second time just to make sure. A rectangular porch is three feet wide. It is three times as long as it is wide. Label the diagram with the dimensions of the porch. So if you look at your porch, which you have in front of you, we know that one part is four feet wide. Where do you think that's gonna go on your porch? Okay, what's this called? The length. So let's label our four feet for the length. You need your measurement, feet. And we see that it's broken into three parts. Why is it broken into three parts here for our width? Because it says three times. Because it says three times. So what exactly do we have to do three times? We're going to put four in like each one. Four, two, three. Yeah. four three times. Because we take our length and we're doing it three times. Four feet, right? So we can label four feet three times. Good job. And what would that be? Could you just write a multiplication sentence to really show how you're going to find your width? You can write it underneath or at the side. It doesn't matter. Good. So I can see that Maria wrote three times four and Rafan wrote four times three. It's the same thing. And that would get us an answer of what? Twelve. Twelve what? What's our measurement? Twelve feet. Good. So what is our width, really? 12. 12 feet. Good. And we want it on both of our widths. And make sure you label your other length. So go ahead, take a minute to do that. So we have our porch labels now. Remind me, what's the length of our porch? Four feet. And what's the width of our porch? Twelve feet. Twelve feet. So now we want to find the perimeter of our porch. What is, actually tell the partner, and Emily you'll tell me, so you two and you two. Tell, that, tell your partner what's the perimeter formula. The perimeter formula is P equals L. P equals L. Perimeter plus L plus L. So who could tell me what is the perimeter formula? And let's use words and not letters. Rafan? P. What does the P stand for? Perimeter okay. equals length plus length plus width plus width. Great. And just remind me, is the perimeter the outside of the porch or the inside of the porch? Outside. 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 Okay. Make sure that you have your perimeter, I'm sorry, the perimeter formula written down and then calculate your perimeter. And you can go ahead and do the math. Good, so I like how Rafan's targeting his doubles first. And Maria's also doing her doubles. Good, so I saw, what was the length that you put? Four. Four what? Four feet. Four feet, and the length is? Four. Four, Four feet. feet. And our width? Twelve, Twelve feet. feet. And our other width? 12 feet. Great. Who can tell me what they did next? So, so basically what I did, mm -hmm. I matched these two up and I got... And what is it called when we have two of the same number again? Uh, wait, four feet. Four feet. 
but when we have the same, remember it's called doubles. Okay, so you added your doubles, and you got eight. eight. And then I added my doubles for mm -hmm. 12, and then I got 24. Okay, I'm gonna pause you there. Who can tell me what should go next? Maria? Then you have to add eight and 24. Mm -hmm. And then um, that makes you 32 feet. Good, I like that you said feet. This time, 32 feet. And what is this 32 feet talking about? Um, the perimeter. The perimeter. Good. So just to make sure, can you please write your final answer in a full sentence? The perimeter of the porch is 32 feet. You can use the text box if you want. Make sure you have your measurement, the unit. Perfect. Good job.